Good evening, good evening, good evening. I should have been in bed a long time ago, y'all. <laughs> just just been lazy tonight. But I'm getting my meat prepared for tomorrow because I have to work. And so what I'm going to do is we're having a real simple meal tomorrow. Just plain simple. I've got two racks of ribs. going to have potato salad. And it's already made from the store. And I'll probably do like a tomato, cucumber, uh, black olive salad, something like that. Some baked beans and Juliana wants her hot dogs. And that is going to be it with some kind of punch or something. I don't know. I might make a... Um, and if I do that, I might show you guys this peach cake thing. It's real simple. So, I got these seasonings. And I know a lot of you remember these. The Supreme Tradition Memphis Style BBQ <laughs> seasoning. This is a 9 ounce container. So, I'm just going to basically season this down. Let it sit in the fridge overnight, and in the morning, I'll have Juliana put them in the oven probably about, oh, i say about 10, and let them cook until I get home, and uh, I'm just going to go from there. But this is, this is the preparation, and like I said, I have another rack over on the other side. I'm going to season that up. Tighten them up real tight in this uh, foil. I'm not putting them on the grill. I, that's too much extra work. So what I'm going to do is put them in the oven. Let them cook slow. I thought about cutting them and putting them in a crock pot. But I'm not doing that. Just leave them like this. And it's going to be good y'all. So I'll show you the end results tomorrow. But like I said. Forgot I even had these. I thought I had bought one pack. But apparently I bought two. So that works out even. And you know one thing I learned from watching cooking shows and a lot of things on the my hands are clean I washed them already on the back of here there's a layer of skin and I never you know when you're eating uh, ribs sometimes that tough skin on the back you can pull it off especially up here on the bone and I saw that on a cooking show and I was like wow so what I do now is I pull that off and it gives you more of a, a meat taste Instead of trying to not be able to eat the back of that bone. I hope you understand what I'm saying. But, so while I'm seasoning these up, we can just talk. It's raining here right now. I was listening to a lot of the ladies. I've uh, been watching some hauls tonight. And they've, they've really been good, guys. I mean, there's some awesome ladies out there, like I said. Um, and they're talking about their heat index in their cities. Baltimore, uh, Arizona. North Carolina, just a lot. And so I'm praying that everybody has air because I know not everybody does, you know. Um, this house that we're staying in, the air condition is not really built for this house this size. So we had to get a unit, a uh, window unit to go in Juliana's room. I'm thinking about getting one to go in mine, but it's, so far it's been pulling off pretty good. Uh, again, this is this Memphis style uh, barbecue sauce, barbe barbecue seasoning. Uh, I got these. Oh, shoot. When did I get these? This is good to February of 26, 21. What's this one good to? Yep. February. So it's still good. I got these probably last summer is when I got those. Hold on. Oh, my little one. She's just running and running. It's kind of thundering. And she used to didn't be so jittery about the thunder. But lately, I've noticed she can get real jittery when it starts to rain. And she, with these fireworks going off. Do you guys have nuts that want to shoot firecrackers off like 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning? I'm like... Come on, people got to get up in the morning and you're shooting this stuff off. Are you crazy? Just, just disrespect. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, this is the second one. I'm getting ready to season up. I got the other one wrapped and on the stove over there. So I'm going to season this one up. Boy, that thunder is getting really, really, I guess I probably should be watching the weather in here trying to season meat up. Need to be 
looking to see if we need to take shelter or anything. But um, so I'm gonna finish this up, guys, and prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow, the residents they love the holidays, and it's kind of sad because some of the residents don't get family members that actually come and see them. So it's kind of a a sad time for them. So they try to make up by having something. And they've got a singer coming in that they all like. His name is Michael Driver. Oh, and he sings a lot of uh, uh, 60s, 50s, 40s songs. And they, they reminisce a lot about it. We got one lady. She just thinks he's a cat's meow. <laughs> and he'll tell her to sing along with him. And she just gets tickled pink. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take and I'm going to wrap this up. I've got the other one, like I said, over here on the... And it's a bigger sheet, too. Uh, on the stove. Wrap this up, seal it up really, really good. And let them cook real slow. So... They should be good and tender. And like I said, I'm not having a whole lot of people over. I remember my mom. i put this on this side. My mom was up and well. Oh, she gets so excited. I had an aunt. We called her Squicky. Squicky. That way, I know it's funny, but that was her name. And that was one aunt. Boy, she could have been an event planner. She loved entertaining people and people loved coming to her home because that's the type of person she was. Oh, she would cook cakes. I am not um, a person that likes coconut, but she would make these mild high coconut cakes. They were so big and so heavy, but people wanted that coconut cake she would do like three and four layers you know and uh wouldn't be nothing left i mean people would come and come and just enjoy and she did she made everybody feel so welcome that was that was just her personality and uh kind of when she died my mother I don't think my mother really recovered from that because her is like two sisters were in every well four my mother and my aunt it was those two here then there were two aunts in Missouri which there's only one now and that's the baby sister so she doesn't have anyone and she's the last living one and I gotta call her too I haven't called her in a couple of weeks um they always had somebody to talk to. So when my aunt died, my mother didn't have anybody to really, as far as a, a, a sister, to talk to. Okay, so I got both of these wrapped good and tight. I'm getting ready to put them in the fridge, let them sit overnight, and um, put them in the oven in the morning. Juliana will do that part for me. She's good at putting my meats and stuff in. I tell her what to do, so. Well, this is what it's doing outside. Rain is coming down pretty good. And this tree, even though they cut the branches and stuff, I got a big branch out there that, you hear that? It's cooling off a little bit, but sometimes after it stops raining, it gets even hotter. So if that tree falls on my car, thank God I got insurance. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go in now, I guess. This is ready, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go lay down. It's been a long day. Sometimes you're supposed to sleep pretty good when it rains. Boy, look at that tree. Look how that, can you see? Can you see how that tree is, is swaying? I don't know if you can see that, but it's swaying pretty good. That's how tall these trees are around here. Oh, my goodness. They are, whoa. They are swaying pretty good. 
and it's coming down good. Oh, I'm gonna get in the house. So guys, happy pre fourth. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful. Wow. Whoa, whoa. Fourth of July. It's gonna be a kind of muddy one tomorrow if this doesn't dry up real quickly. Okay, so happy fourth. Talk to you later. This is Good Money Stewart signing off saying God loves you. Be blessed.